Brandishing a sword and stabbing at an opponent may not sound very feminine. But in fact, fencing was the only combative sport open to women until the late 20th century. It could be because there are no punches, kicks or body contact involved. So fencing is like what coach says, is a lot like chess. You make a move, you draw your opponent out, you have to outsmart your opponent. So it's a sport that you can do till you're quite old because it's a lot of dependent on experience. A sport that's been part of Nancy's life for the last eight years. She's managed to master the three different weapons of fencing. She won two silvers and one bronze at the Nationals last year. She also took home one bronze from the Commonwealth Fencing Championships. Doing three different weapons at national is quite difficult because there are different timings and different positions where you actually hold your swords and when you execute a shot. So it's, uh, it takes me a long time each morning before a competition to actually prepare myself mentally and physically for that particular weapon. I usually do a training session with a, a mate um, for about half an hour to actually get my mind set for the timing especially. It's very different for the footwork. So fencing is a lot of um, foot movement, footwork, and it's a lot tiring on your, on your feet, especially your quads. So we all get chubby quads, <laughs> which we're high underneath our breeches. <laughs> Nancy's been training in three different clubs, but it all started here at Auckland University. She was president of the New Zealand University Fencing Council for four consecutive terms. So I basically came to Auckland University back in 2003 and I was looking for a sport that was not on offer when I was in college in Arua and I, was, I had a choice between fencing and handball and I felt I was too short for handball so I chose fencing and immediately fell in love with it and that's why I'm still doing it now. Yeah, Nancy's got really good footwork um, and it's the basis of all fencing is movement and, and balance and uh, poise and precision. So that's transferable into all three. So that just goes to show that her that grounding skills, etc., and the commitment she's put in to, to that, and that's the hard work you have to do. Uh, that's not the fun stuff, playing with swords. Hard work, doing lots of line work, lots of leg exercises, working out in the gym, and that's really come to fruition. When she's not eyeing targets with a sword, Nancy has her eyes on scientific research. This 26-year-old PhD student is completing her thesis on cataracts. So, cataract is um, an in invisible sort of age-related disease. Everyone, when we get old enough, we will have it. And there's a lot of um, side effect that comes with cataract surgery. So obviously an anti-cataract um, therapy is the primary goal. And hopefully one day my research can contribute to that. Nancy's research is actually trying to find, give us more information on how the lens works under normal conditions so that we can actually better find ways of fixing it when things go wrong. And uh, so if we're successful in this venture, we hopefully could delay the onset of cataract and reduce the, um, the need for cataract surgery, which will be a huge saving for the um, public health service budgets. Having doing research, fencing and fundraising, um, juggling time is basically a key. And basically, during my four years, um, research has always been the number one priority and everything's secondary until last year when Commonwealth was around. So research took one step back and thanks for the understanding of the supervisor. You know, some people like to think that uh, research is, is a passion and a focus and it's got to, you've got to be one-eyed on about it. But if you want to be sane in any kind of job, you need balance. And I think Nancy um, has got lots of good balance. And it's like science say, you know, sporting increases your blood flow to your brain, so you think better. <laughs> she was born in Taiwan and came to New Zealand at the age of 10. It's been a life led at top speed. She walks, runs and even does marathons to help the needy. I do a lot of fundraising on top of the sports and my academics. It's, I really enjoy doing something different outside what I usually do. And I see fundraising as a good way to not only do something different, but also for a really good cause. So I'm doing the 100K um, Oxfam Trail Walker this year. So that'll be a good challenge.
Oh, she's one of these uh, bundles of energy. So uh, it's great, always committed, as you want in any sports athlete. Um, at the end of the day, it says it's all down to that athlete putting in the time and effort. And Nancy's good at that. She's got her style, which I do my best to try and bring out. A uh, little pocket rocket at times, definitely very good. This competitive fencer is now looking at other targets. My goal in fencing is to keep uh, maintain the level and then hopefully starting to gain more experience in coaching. I would like to, you know, eventually do a senior coaching. I'm only starting in the beginners. And um, after I finish my PhD, see how many time, um, how much time I have got left. Maybe aim for that, you know, that spot in the Olympic squad. Behind the face guard is a female fighter whose sights are set on an Olympic medal.